Hi there, in this video I'm going to be talking about another way in which perfect collinearity can arise. Um, and it's probably best illustrated by means of an example. So let's say I was interested in how the test score of an individual depends on whether that individual lives in a large house, which is given by this sort of size variable, and whether that individual is sort of growing up in the country. Yeah, so we estimate some sort of relationship which looks like this, whereby our size dummy takes on the value of one if there is sort of more than two bedrooms, and um, it takes on a value of zero otherwise. And similarly, let's think about the country variable, which is, let's say, um, equal to one if it's sort of a greater than sort of 50 miles to the nearest city and a value of zero otherwise. So let's say we have a sample of individuals. So we've got the underlying population, but we take a sample of individuals which happen to be all from the same sort of country estate. So all of these individuals, by means of the way in which we've taken our sample, happen to be from a very wealthy country estate, whereby the country variable is essentially exactly perfectly collinear with the size variable, because each of the houses within that country estate happen to be particularly large. So notice that because of the reasons that we've taken a sort of poor sample here, our estimates of beta, well, our ability to identify beta 1 and beta 2 is going to be impossible. We are not going to be able to disentangle the effect of a size of a house from um, whether country has an effect. And um, so that's going to be some of our issues. Well, so let, let's say we collect some more data. So we collect some individuals who happen to be from some sort of urban and relatively poor environment, whereby they're not in the country. So the country variable here is equal to zero. But also for these individuals, um, they sort of come from relatively small house sizes. So the size of the house is also equal to zero. So notice that this still hasn't enabled us to identify and the effect of a size of house from the effect of being in the country. But notice that if we were a little bit more intelligent about the way in which we collected our sample, we would hope that we would pick individuals which had some sort of variance in um, the size of the house with whether they were living in the country. So by collecting more data, we could essentially get some data whereby the size of the house does not exactly determine um, whether they grew up in the country. And by means of that collection of extra data, that will mean that we can actually get some insight into whether the size of the house matters in determining an individual's test scores or whether they grew up in the country.